Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to do the forget username or password using the Firebase. Okay, so yeah, we will be working on that. Uh, so first of all, we have to create our forget password page. I mean, where we can get email from the user and then once we get that email, then we will send a mail to his uh, i mean using his gmail account or yahoo account whatever his account is then uh, he will receive uh, email i mean on his email address and once he click on that then he can reset his password i mean using the firebase authentication not just i mean uh, you can say uh, an unauthentic, unauthentic uh, things i mean we have to do it using the firebase authentication so yeah i mean let's go to the visual studio code and what we're gonna do is uh yeah we have our uh, forget password dot uh, html file which we created earlier okay for now it is empty and uh, that is why when we click on this we send basically the user to this empty page which we have not i mean on which we have not worked yet so let's do work on it now what we're gonna do is let me close this let's come here to the sign in page let's just copy all this code okay Control c select all and then press Control c and then come back to the forget password and then paste that whole code here okay on the forget password now first of all make sure to change this to forget account or forget password forget username whatever it is okay just i give this title and then uh, yeah we will be using the yeah these are the required links now what we're gonna do is here we need to change the images first i mean for the forget password so our images let's remove this inside the images folder we have an image which is by the name forget password cover forget password cover dot jpg and i already provide the link to all these files which is inside our design file okay in the first or second video tutorial i hope you remember that and you have this file inside your project so yeah now what's next next thing is to change our side image so let's also change this one which will be our forget password dot jpg yeah that's it and now here we need to change this to forget password this will be the main title on our page i mean using the h3 tag and then what we're gonna do is basically we will be needing this email tag and we have to remove the let me check first what we're gonna need now what i'm going to do is first let copy paste this tag here i mean and then what we're gonna do is we have to change this form wrapper to form group and basically we need to add a paragraph tag remove this all okay paragraph and in here we can say please enter your email address below and we will send you information to recover your account so the user has to basically enter his own email address on which he created an account okay so please enter your email address below and we will send information to recover your account that's it then we need this email field and remove this password field and yeah confirm password then we need this button we will change it email yeah okay and here first of all make sure to change this to reset password 
this is the ID and then we can give it name as uh, reset password okay this is the button name and we have to remove this one because we do not need this okay these two divs and yeah the rest of the thing is same and this validation will be here that is if the user is already logged in then we are going to send the user to the main page i mean the user is already logged in there is no need for that okay so now what we're going to do is let's uh, save this okay and if you have not run the application from the terminal then you can just run it just like by typing http dash server okay and it is now running and then come here and refresh this page and here you can see it wow this is so cool this is really incredible you will get this relative page which changes uh, according to the uh, browser or you can say to your laptop screen or uh, uh, monitor screen or you can say LED screen whatever it is I mean it is a beautiful relative layout so yeah now the next thing is to do the backend okay so for the backend what we're gonna do is yeah we will just access this button I mean the user will first write his valid email address and then when he click on reset password we will send the uh, link to his account and sorry for this I mean I think we have wrote something here so yeah I mean this thing okay this is extra closing anyways there is just a text which you can change and here now you can see it it is gone now what's next now if you want to make this text aligned like uh, you can use the CSS property for this one I mean just come here and inside this paragraph tag all you will need is just to open the style which is related to the uh, CSS okay and text align and then you can pass it justify and then put a semicolon here then save all let's come here and here you can see it now it's look more beautiful I mean it is aligned to our this uh, edit text field basically this uh, you can say input text field so yeah I mean uh, that's it now what we're gonna do let's do the back end so we can access our this button using this ID which is the ID of this and what we're gonna do is let's come here and let's copy paste this okay copy paste this and now let's change the ID of this btn dash reset password so btn dash reset password and now let's change this Code, I mean for the reset password so what we're gonna do here is we can create auth variable and we can get the firebase.auth in it and then we are going to get the email uh, which a user will type on the forget password uh, .html page so in order to get this we have to get that by their ID so just copy this paste it here and let's come and copy this email ID of this email field and then paste it here dot well you and then this now let's add a validation I mean if the email uh, field is empty and if the user click uh, the update button we will uh, just tell the user that hey please write your email first okay if it is not equals to null then we will do the code otherwise we are going to tell the user let's use this window alert just for the time saving I am copy pasting this one here so we can say please write your email first okay and if everything is okay then let's let the user to change his password I mean reset his password so you can say send password reset email 
and then we have to pass the email because it is required here dot then and basically these are the firebase built-in functions for resetting the email so i hope you know about little bit i mean about these then put two curly braces here and make sure to put a semicolon here at the end now in order to catch the error i mean if any error occur then move this to the next line and we can just then say dot catch function put two curly braces here function and let's pass error here so basically uh, this will get the error in order to get the error message i mean what basically has happened you can get the error code also by using this error dot code error dot message we can just copy this from the above code which we did for the uh, sign in and sign up and then paste it here inside this catch that's it now the next thing is here we have to just uh, let the user know that is an email has sent to you and the user has to check and verify it I mean some link we will send uh, fire using the firebase authentication basically it will be sent automatically email has been sent to you please check and verify that's it now the code is complete but we have to do some final steps inside the firebase console so so go to your firebase console okay come here click on this authentication then come here to the templates okay templates and here we have this password reset just click on this password reset once you click on it here you will have this so here you can see uh, sender name and this basically click on this icon first okay and this will uh, give you this project public facing name which will be this and uh, this is the id and the next thing is this thing which is project support email so basically on which account you are already i mean your project your firebase project in which account you have created you will get that email and just select that email and then what you're going to do next is that here you have the sender name just select uh, any name that is let's say i'm going to say coding cafe coding cafe okay write this and you can also change this no reply but i will just go let's go with it okay sender name coding cafe no reply which basically you guys see uh, in many uh, may, uh, other websites which say that is do not reply us okay so this is just that is no reply okay so coding cafe no reply and this will be the email address which a user will receive and then what we gonna do next is i mean if you basically want that uh, let's say uh, this firebase send me an email for resetting my password okay and if i reply back uh, if i want to reply back to the fire uh, to firebase let's say to that website i mean to my website let's say codingcafe.com okay i am a user of coding cafe and i receive a reset password email on my email address now if i want to uh, uh, contact with the codingcafe.com then here you have to basically provide that email so this is up to you i mean if you want you can uh, write here your email that is on which email your website users can contact so i'm going to type my email let's say uh, i mean my original email basically which is this one okay so that uh, a user can uh, if a user reply me back then i will receive the emails on this email address okay this is my email address and now you will see it basically uh, what the how this work basically okay then all you gonna need is just to click save so yeah email template was updated so yeah that's it now what we're gonna do is i'm going to log in by my own original email which is this one i hope you guys know about this 
so let's go back to our for uh, testing the app make sure to save all and uh, then come to the browser and here uh, what we're going to do is whenever you test the app as i told you in the previous video tutorial that uh, whenever you create basically a new page or i mean you wrote a lot of code i mean just like we create a forget password complete feature then make sure to i mean clear the browsing data okay clear browse history first i mean whenever you test the uh, application basically so yeah that's it for minor changes it is okay but whenever you create a new page then sometimes it happens that it not works because there are uh, some sessions and some cookies created are ready so it is i mean important to basically clear the history first okay when it, once we, you do that then make sure to refresh the page one more time and once it is refreshed then you can just type the email address so i am typing my uh, email address which is this one okay here you can see it so yeah which is my original email address and now i will click on it and here you can see it email has been sent to you please check and verify okay now i'm going to check my email address in another browser and here you can see it i just receive a new uh, email i mean mail from coding cafe if i open it then here you can see it coding cafe which is the address no reply at the rate and this one which i already told you you will receive email from this one and then here you can see it hello follow this link to reset your project password for your this account i mean it mentions our account also and here you can see zero minutes ago so yeah now what we're going to do is just click on this uh, link which is uh, provided there and it will send us here and using the firebase authentication i mean now we can provide a new uh, password so let's say my new password is mohammed ali if i show you here you can see it mohammed ali let's click save you can now sign in with your new password so yeah that's cool now let's back here now what i'm going to do is let's go back to our sign in page and then here you can see it uh, we are on the sign in page and then the new password okay and then let's press login and here you can see it we are logged in successfully so yeah here you can see it we are logged in to the main application to the main page so yeah, that's it for this video and in the next video we will work on the account settings Bye for now.